I'm in the beautiful coastal city of Vlora, Albania today, and I've been living here for the past three months. I think it might be the most underrated city in Europe for digital nomads. Obviously, this is subjective, and there are tons of incredible cities in Europe, but I rarely hear people talk about Vlora, so if you're looking for your next city to visit in Europe, you won't want to miss what Vlora has to offer. First, let's talk about cost of living in Vlora. When it comes to housing costs, I'm only paying 550 US dollars per month for a one bedroom penthouse with a massive beach view terrace. And that actually includes utilities, so you know, Wi Fi, electricity, water, everything like that. And I found this place on Airbnb, so I'm actually paying a markup on that 550. And I didn't even negotiate the price with the host, so you could probably get an even better price if you went down that route. Groceries aren't as inexpensive as you'd think after hearing the housing costs. I'd say it's pretty much on par with any other European city. However, eating out is a lot less expensive. So since the price difference isn't in the cost of food, I would guess it's in rent and labor costs. Public transportation is very inexpensive at only 40 lek, which is about 42 US cents at the time of filming this video. However, I would say the system is pretty underdeveloped when you compare it to other European cities. Overall, I'd say Vlora and really all of Albania is pretty low cost of living for what you get, though I think that will change soon as Albania climbs and climbs in popularity. So I definitely recommend you get out there before that changes. There's a nice variety when it comes to things to do in Vlora as well. The center area is usually quite busy, especially around the university area, so you can find things to do. The other thing in the city center is kind of the old town, which is a cute little area to visit. You wanna get some food, go for a coffee, go for a walk. Then there's the strip along the coast that is called Lungo and that's where we're gonna find restaurant after restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. Laura specifically is only a short ferry ride away from Italy, so you're gonna find a lot of Italian food, you're going to find Greek food, you're going to find a lot of seafood. So great restaurants and great prices there. All the way on the other side is where you're going to find more of the resorts and hotels. I'd say this is more of the vacation area. You wanna go for a swim, you wanna go paragliding water sports, anything like that you can find over there. Aside from that, in Vlora, I also visited Kenya Castle, which is beautiful, really nice views from there. I went to the monastery that is nearby as well in the cute little town. So there are a lot of things to do here. You're not gonna get bored while you are in Vlora. And for me, I found it to be a really nice, relaxing destination since I was there more in the off season. When it comes to Vlora, as in the location, the environment, there are a few things to mention. Number one is Albania is a non-Schengen country, so it's a great place to visit for 90 days. Let's say you've spent 90 days in a Schengen area like Spain, Portugal, Italy, whatever it is. You can then go ahead and spend 90 days in Albania, which will reset your visa, I guess you could say, and then you can re-enter the Schengen area. So this is a great place to kind of take a break from a Schengen area while not going too far and then having to pay for really expensive plane tickets. I'm not a US passport holder, but if you are, you'd be able to stay in Albania for an entire year. So this is a great place to go if you want a long-term stay. City feels incredibly safe as a solo female traveler. One of the safest places I've actually visited. I was able to walk around at night, any time of the day, and I never once felt even remotely unsafe. I will say before Vlora, I spent a year in Latin America, so maybe it's just my perception. Overall, Vlora has been an incredible city to live in with the beautiful mountains, landscapes, uh, the palm trees along the Lomade, the beautiful looking water. I 100% recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next Sunday.